Question 1. What is room temperature? Answer. 25 degree centigrade. Question 2. What is the ultraviolet, OV, and visible spectroscopy range? Answer. OV spectroscopy range 200 to 400 nanometers, visible spectroscopy range 400 nanometers to 800 nanometers. Question 3. What is the use of OV spectroscopy? Answer. Spectroscopy used for detecting the functional groups, impurities. Qualitative and quantitative analysis can be done. Question 4. What is the difference between qualitative and quantitative analysis? Answer. Qualitative analysis involves identification of the compound or chemical based on their chemical, absorption, emission, or physical properties, e.g. melting point, boiling point. Quantitative analysis involves estimation or determination of concentration or amount of the chemical compounds or components. Question 5. Explain the principle of ultraviolet spectroscopy. Answer. OV spectroscopy uses light in the OV part of electromagnetic spectrum. OV absorption spectra arises in which molecule or atom's outer electrons absorb energy, undergoes transition from lower energy level to higher energy level. For each molecule, absorbance at wavelength is specific. Question 6. Explain about Beer-Lambert's law. Answer. It states that the intensity of monochromatic light absorbed by a substance dissolved in a fully transmitting solvent is directly proportional to the substance concentration and the path length of the light through the solution. Question 7. Explain the infrared spectroscopy principle. Answer. When a molecule absorbs the infrared radiation, it vibrates and gives rise to packed infrared IR absorption spectrum. This IR spectrum is specific for every different molecule absorbing the IR radiation, useful for its identification. Question 8. What is the body temperature? Answer. 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Question 9. Define pH. What is the pH of blood? Answer. pH negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. Blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Question 10. Expand LCMs HPLC, UPLC, TLC and GC. Answer. OLCM as liquid chromatography or HPLC high performance liquid chromatography or UPLC ultra high performance liquid chromatography or TLC thin layer chromatography or GC gas chromatography. Question 11. What is the HPLC principle? Answer. It is a technique used for separating the mixture of components into individual components based on adsorption, partition, ion exchange and size exclusion principles. Stationary phase and mobile phase used in it. HPLC used for identification, quantification and purification of components form a mixture. Question 12. Explain HPLC instrumentation. Answer. It involves solvent system pump, sample injector, HPLC columns, detectors and recorder. Firstly, solvent, mobile phase, is degassed for eliminating the bubbles. It is passed through the pump with a uniform pressure. The liquid sample is injected into the mobile phase flow stream. It passes through the stationary phase identified by the detectors and recorded. Question 13. In reverse phase HPLC, which type of stationary phase is used and give example? Answer. Non-polar stationary phase used X, silica gel C18. Question 14. What are the detectors used in HPLC? Answer. OV detector, IR detector, fluorescence detector, mass spectroscopy, LCMSETC. Question 15. How to calculate retention factor in paper chromatography? Answer. RF equals distance traveled by solute distance traveled by solvent. Question 16. Define molarity. Answer. Number of moles of solute per liter solution. Denoted with M. Question 17. Define molality. Answer. Number of moles of solute per kilogram solvent. Denoted with M.